Welcome to Easy Deploy YouTube channel. Today we are going to see how to set up path based routing to single application load balancer. What is covered in this video? We will be seeing what is load balancer? What is application load balancer? What is target groups? What is path based routing? How to set up path based routing to single application load balancer? Use cases. Routing traffic based on URL. Our client has a lot of microservices running on different paths. We wanted to route the traffic based on the URL path. We implemented the same using the path-based routing feature provided by AWSALB. Prerequisites. AWS account. AWS account with elastic load balancer full access. Basic knowledge about ELB. What is load balancer? A load balancer is a managed service that automatically distributes incoming application or network traffic across multiple targets, such as Amazon EC2 instances, containers, IP addresses, or Lambda functions. AWS offers several types of load balancers to suit different use cases. One, classic load balancer. Two, application load balancer. Three, network load balancer. Four, gateway load balancer. AWS load balancers offer features such as health checks, SSL termination, session persistence, and integration with other AWS services, making them an integral part of building scalable, fault-tolerant, and high-performance architectures in the AWS cloud environment. What is Application Load Balancer? Application Load Balancer is a type of load balancer that operates at the application layer of the OSI model. It is designed to handle HTTP and HTTPS traffic and provides advanced routing and load balancing features that are well suited for modern web applications. Application Load Balancer is a powerful tool for distributing incoming HTTP and HTTPS traffic across multiple targets, providing high availability, scalability, and advanced routing capabilities for modern web applications deployed on AWS. What is Target Groups? A target group is a logical grouping of targets that are registered with a load balancer. These targets can be resources such as EC2 instances, IP addresses, or Lambda functions. Target groups are an essential part of the elastic load balancing service provided by AWS, facilitating the distribution of incoming traffic from the load balancer to the registered targets based on configured rules and health checks. What is path-based routing? Path-based routing is a method used in networking and web server configuration to direct incoming requests to different destinations based on the path specified in the URL. This technique is commonly used in reverse proxies, load balancers, and application routers to distribute traffic to different backend servers or services based on the requested URL path. In the context of web servers like Jinx, path-based routing allows you to host multiple websites or applications on the same server or cluster and route traffic to the appropriate destination based on the URL path. How to set up path-based routing to single load balancer. Search for EC2. We have already created two EC2 instances with two different servers, Apache and Jinx. Now copy the public IP of the Apache and search for it. You can see that the Apache server works. Copy the Jinx public IP and search for it. Jinx server is working. Now we should create a target group for our first server that is Apache server. Click create target group. As we are working in the instance, we should choose instance as target type. Give target group a name. I am selecting protocol as HTTP and port 80. You can click the one matching your needs. Here I am selecting IP address type as IPv4. If you have already created VPC, select that one, otherwise choose default one. 
If you already have a path, give that one. Here I am giving Apache server path, which I am going to give in the listener rules in later part of the video. Click Next. Select the server which you want to connect to target group and click Include as pending below. Click Create Target Group. Now our first target group is created. Now we want to create second target group for our second server. Fill the target group name. I am selecting protocol as HTTP and 80. You can select as for your need. I am selecting IP address type as IPv4. If you have VPC, give the one or give the default. In health check path, give the path of the Jinx server, which I am going to add in listeners rules in the later part of the video. Click next. Choose the server which you want to connect to the target group and select include as pending below. Click create target group. Now we have created target groups for two different servers. Now we should create a load balancer. Here we are creating application load balancer. Because we can create path-based routing and it will support HTTP and HTTPS protocol. Give load balancer a name. We should select internet facing. We can access publicly on internet if we choose internet facing. IP address type should be IPv4. If we already created VPC, select that one, otherwise give a default one. We should select at least two availability zones. If you already created security group, you can select that one, otherwise select default. I am selecting protocol as HTTP and port 80. If you want HTTPS, you can choose that one. You can select one target group. This one is your default target group. URLs that does not match any load balancer rule will be routed to default target group. Click create load balancer. Now the load balancer is in provisioning state. Load balancer is active now. Go inside the load balancer we created. Click on the listeners and rules protocol. Now add a new rule. Type the rule name. Click next. Click on add condition. I am selecting path as we want to route traffic based on path. Here we should give the path value of Apache server. We included asterisk in the end because this indicates that the rule should match any request whose path starts with slash Apache slash. Click Confirm. Click Next. Select the target group of the Apache server. Click Next. We can give priority number on our own choice. Click Next. Click Create. Now our first rule is created. Now we should create second rule for our second server. Click Add Rule. Give name for the rule. Click Next. Click on Add Condition. I am selecting path as we are routing traffic based on path. Here we should give the path value of the Jinx server. 
We included asterisk in the end because this indicates that the rule should match any request whose path starts with slash and jinx slash. Click Confirm. Click Next. Select the target group of the Jinx server. Click Next. Here we can give how many priority we want. Click Next. Click Create. Now we have created two rules for two servers. Go to the load balancer we created and copy the DNS name. Now search for the DNS name. Server is running. This is the default rule. Now we can add the path of the Apache server and let's see if it works. Apache server is running. Now we can type the path of Jinx and let's see if it's running or not. Jinx server is running. Conclusion. We have seen. What is load balancer? What is application load balancer? What is target groups? What is path-based routing? How to set up path-based routing to single application load balancer? Do you have any questions? Please feel free to comment or contact us at our email ID or contact us page. We will be happy to reply you. Easy Deploy is an authorized AWS cloud consulting partner. We have helped various organizations in adopting their cloud journey by architecting, implementing, and managing their environment with AWS best practices.